It's called the Omega-1 and it's a rotary engine with no seals, it has barely any moving parts and has almost zero losses in the combustion cycle. With a traditional internal combustion engine you lose stacks of energy through heat and friction. Well with this new engine by Astron Aerospace they aim to eliminate nearly all losses associated with the internal combustion engine. Now when I initially looked at this engine I thought well this isn't that cool, it's really just a fancy high revving wankel rotary like the ones you'll find in a Mazda. While I looked into it more and it really isn't, it's a rotary but it has zero seals and the engine is super efficient, super lightweight and doesn't take up much space. A single 16 kilogram engine develops 160 horsepower and 230 newton meters of torque. This thing revs all the way to 25,000 rpm which is insanely high for an internal combustion engine. All the power of a single engine is multiplied by the number of engines that may be placed end to end. So let's say you have 3 rotors, you would have 480 horsepower and the total weight of all 3 motors would be 48 kilograms. I mean that's nothing and it makes a whole bunch of power. Now how does this engine work? Aerodynamic forces are eliminated since the engine is air cooled. Rotating shafts encircle the engine openings and both upper and lower shafts counter rotate. The design splits the four stroke combustion cycle into two, the one part for intake and compression and the other for combustion and exhaust. The intake air is compressed and travels through a rotary valve to the pre-chamber between the rotors where fuel is injected and when it enters the power side of the rotor it ignites, driving the rotor and then it leaves through the exhaust port. Now this engine has no seals like I previously mentioned, but how? How does it keep the compression and everything high if it has no seals? Well, very tight tolerances are key for the lack of rotor seals, as are the higher RPMs involved since there is not enough time for the air to leak when running. The engine also features a supercharged air intake running at crazy high pressures. Now where most internal combustion engines run between 10 and 20 psi, this engine forces in over 200 psi into the motor. Now Astron Aerospace recommended using hydrogen as a fuel source for running the engine and in doing so the emissions will be practically nothing and since they weigh so little they won't add very much weight to a car. A lighter car means the engine doesn't have to work very hard. This tech is freaking awesome. Now one more cool thing I thought I had to mention. So when you drive fast the engine will combust on every rotation of the rotors thus giving it the maximum power and the maximum torque. But let's say you are just cruising at a steady pace. The engine can skip fire. In other words it will only ignite on every 5 or 10 rotations. Which means you just save fuel and the car will still drive perfectly fine. Now imagine having a hyper efficient super lightweight engine powering your car by burning hydrogen. It's good for the planet. They weigh practically nothing and they are super small so you would have more space in normal cars. And then for performance cars you can have multiple motors stacked together making loads of clean power. Things like this show that there is still a bright future for the internal combustion engine and I feel as time goes on everybody will eventually see it. But what do you think? Do you, are you still on the electric bandwagon or do you think this things like this, not necessarily just this one, but things like this give us multiple ways of keeping the internal combustion engine alive. Sorry, I'm really excited because I think this is going to work. Not just this, there's a bunch of technologies um, like Yamaha building the hydrogen V8 normal internal combustion engine. There's just so many options and I, I feel good for the future. Yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Um, if you did enjoy it, I've got many more videos just like this one, like literally on hydrogen powered internal combustion cars. So just go through, there's, there's more stuff, okay? Um, I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, eh?